Hey everyone. Hey, I wanted to touch base with you today. We've just um, sent out an email today with our new rate sheet effective January 1. I'll get to a little bit of clarification on that in a second, but first and foremost, the reason why I wanted to do this video is because we're doing something that we've never done before. A lot of centers close for teacher work days and things like that and charge the families. And I've always struggled with that, but I read a book the other day by Brian Dupree, a very, very successful uh, child care uh, owner, him and his wife out in Massachusetts. And one of the things he stressed was teamwork and team building and staff appreciation and so forth. So um, based on that inspiration, we are making a move to, we're gonna be closing on uh, two Mondays a year and we're going to do that on government holidays. That helps many families. Um, so this year, President's Day is February 15th of 2020. Also, our plan is to close on Columbus Day, which is October 11th, 2020. Those are two Mondays. And we're going to charge everybody, instead of the daily rate, which is kind of the idea, we're just going to do a flat rate to cover our expenses for our staff that day. We're going to pay our staff. We're going to charge our families. Uh, so if you're enrolled with us in the month of February, you're going to see a $35 staff appreciation fee. Uh, appreciation, it's a it's a staff training and a staff team building day. And so we're going to host this down at the warehouse. We're going to be upstairs, have it all day. Uh, it's going to be a paid staff training. We're going to buy them lunch. And we're going to really work on, on investing in our staff. Um, because ultimately, while my job is to keep your children safe, my job isn't to care for your children. My job is to take care of my staff and put get them the most as much support and training and and create the best environment for them to thrive in and 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 be able to appreciate what they do and feel appreciated because if I do that well, your kids are going to have a great day. Your kids are going to be well cared for. So my 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 second most important thing beyond child safety is taking care of the staff. So I just wanted to share this because this is something my staff are near and dear to my heart. And, and I want to work in 2021 on, on in reinvesting back into our staff. So, so um, you know, I've mentioned this to a few families and, and they've said, wow, that's awesome. So I love that appreciation and, and that support. Um, because it's, it's a little bit nerve wracking closing and charging for that. But I think if you can get around that concept, um, it, it's, it's going to pay you back a thousand times fold um, by the staff being rejuvenated, be able, and we're going to put all kinds of great staff systems in place, but it's a, it's a couple days a year for them so they can recharge their batteries and get them dialed in. So I want to thank you. Um, I did mention in there, if we have a family that is uh, that that creates a financial burden, just reach out. We'll have some scholarships and some options available for you uh, for that. And um, uh, so, uh, as far as a rate increase, uh, you know, since minimum wage started going up so long ago, when they were doing 90, 90 cent raises every year, we've always had a January one raise um, uh, in rates. Um, COVID's tough, not just on Discovery, but a lot of families. Uh, we've we felt it in the in the way of uh, just over fifty seven thousand dollars in um, in in lost revenue this year between the centers. So that's something that we are, you know, and, and we're just never never been more committed to your to your children and our families. So um, that's just something we're going to uh, work through. And um, so, in a nutshell. Um, our, our rate will go up a dollar a day for what we are now classifying as full-time kids, kids that are with us full-time or four or five days a week. It's a dollar raise um, in, in our rates, and that's been typical. What's not been typical is what I've seen in a lot of facilities throughout the country, but here in Mesa County too, is where there's there's a higher charge for part-time care. A lot of centers don't, char don't do a lot of part-time care. I always have. And I always believe that it's such an important part of meeting our community's needs, but it's tougher. So if you're a Tuesday, Thursday family, I've got to find a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or else the center is going to struggle filling those rooms. So 
Um, for our families that are one, two, or three days or part-time, uh, that rate is going to go up $3 a day. So there can be a $2 spread between full-time and part-time. So um, one, two, or three, if you are paying 36 for a three-year-old, it's going to go to 39 If you're four or five days, it goes up just to 37 on that $1. So um, again, if, if this creates a tremendous hardship for you or, or uh, you know, reach out to me and um, and let me know because uh, I need, need to hear that feedback as well. Anyway, thank you, everyone. I appreciate you. Uh, those rates will go into effect January 1. And um, yeah, I, I can't wait to get back with you on the staff training. And I should have plugged this in before in case for the few people that dropped off this video. But um, I would love to be able to staff this with some parent volunteers. So if you have uh, ideas, uh, you have experience in event planning, this is going to be an event for our staff and a production for them. Um, we're going to, I need parents to come and film. We're going to do a lot of training that we'll be able to pull out of there. Um, we'll create some great video content for recruiting some great staff. Because I tell you what, in this industry, these ladies and the few fellas uh, that are with us as well work really, really hard. And, and, um, uh, and to have an environment where they're really supported is, is so key in our business. Again, that's my job is supporting our staff, making every effort so that they have a great place that they want to get up out of bed and uh, come to school and change your kids' stinky diapers. <laughs> and uh, so th that's our challenge. So uh, yeah, if, if, if you're interested in helping out as, as a parent for this, again, our first one's going to be February 15th. So uh, we've already started to create an outline of things. We'd like to, we're going to have maybe some speakers in there and some all kinds of some great stuff for them. So uh, feel free to reach out, let me know, and we'd love to have you aboard. All right. Thanks for your help. Appreciate you. Have a great day.